Hello, everybody. So this week, kind of straightforward. Um, Psalm 91 is a song that we did at the end of service last week. So if you were here um, in service this past week, that's the song. Um, obviously, you've been listening to it, so I'll talk about that briefly in just a second. But um, we'll start with the countdown. Miranda, welcome us if you don't mind, and then we'll jump right into Bigger Than. First one, verse two will be Miranda. We'll come in on the first chorus with her, staying into verse three. Second chorus, um, and then the bridge will stay in. Just don't, you know, overpower her there. But um, Miranda, be ready. I'm, I think we've led this on before, but you know how the song goes. It kind of just like once you start, you <laughs> you don't really have a break until the end. So just really be thinking through breath support during the song. Um, but anyways, um, bridge will kind of hit through. Um, and then it goes to that like short little down chorus. That portion will be Miranda. And then when everything built back up, we'll come in together and then go into the song. Um, from there, we're going to the scripture reading. I'm actually going to take this uh, just for a few reasons, just to talk through the song. Um, one thing I'm going to encourage people to do um, is go home and read this psalm for themselves. Um, I'll talk about this more on Sunday, but in the bridge, I actually went back and forth a lot about if we should change the word um, to be no harm will come near me, um, instead changing it to even if harm come near me. Um, I think we can all kind of assume why I would look to change that, um, but ended up not doing it, but I'll talk more about that on Sunday. Uh, but anyways, that's why I'm going to take some time during scripture reading just to talk through a few things, but verse one will be Callie. We'll come in on the first chorus there with her, staying in through verse two, second chorus, first bridge be out, and then we can be in um, on the second bridge and really be in until the end of the song. Callie, we'll do what we did this last week. Um, where we'll end at like the four minute, 14 second mark. If you want to, um, how she does that, like repeat chorus and then the ending, feel free to do that. But we'll just take the click out. That way you don't have to worry about like matching up kind of the off timing stuff with the click going as well. So we'll plan to end. And then if you want to tag um, that portion at the end, like she does in the song, feel free to do that. I'll let you decide that on Sunday. Um, but yeah, and then from there, we will jump into Great I Am. Um, kind of straightforward in this song. We don't do the song a ton, but we've done it enough to where I think everybody knows it well enough. Um, but we'll start on verse one, um, and then you know, chorus will come in, stay in on verse two, second chorus. I'll take the first bridge. We'll come in together after that, and then really we'll be in until the end of the song. Um, super powerful song. Always love to lead this. And then from there, we will uh, go down, go into the gratitude series. This is week three, and then when we come back up. We'll go into Waymaker. Um, so verse one, I'll take same thing on the repeat of that. We'll come in on the first chorus, staying in the first two, second verse, staying in through the choruses. We won't go out until the first two times through the bridge. And then we'll come in on that third one and then be in until the end of the song. We'll end this where we typically do it that like six minute, 14 second mark. Um, and then I'll go back into the bridge, um, for the offertory, do that twice, do the chorus twice, and we will call it a day. So, um, yeah, that's it vocally there. So, Callie, just know that we're, it's not going to change anything for you to sing, um, but we will play the chorus, or sorry, the bridge to progression three times during Psalm 91. I'll talk about that on Sunday, but I just don't want you to hear me say that and think that that changes anything for you. It doesn't change anything for you, just changes what we play behind you. Uh, but that is it. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Band, this is where you'll start the video. Uh, pretty straightforward Sunday. The only thing to talk about will be on Psalm 91. Um, and then an update for Waymaker, but we'll get there in just a second. Starting on the countdown, Miranda will welcome us. We'll jump right into Bigger Than. Um, all that will be normal. I know a few weeks ago we started off with like a bigger swell, uh, but just a normal time there. Um, yeah, Bigger Than will be like the track, doing it in E flat, doing the song as we typically have done it. From there, we'll jump into our scripture reading. Um, I'm going to challenge people to go home and... Um, read Psalm 91 for themselves. There's a few reasons behind this. Um, Stephanie and I talked about this. It's something I was really processing last week on if we should change the words in the bridge of no harm will come near me. Um, really more so of that really than anything else of just the fact of no harm will come near me. I think we all are spiritually mature enough to know that that's not the case. Um, we are spiritually mature enough to say that even if harm would come near me, my house or my family, you're my strength, you're my shield, you're the God in whom I trust. Um, that is very true. Um, but in context of the psalm and what's going on, um, the psalm does say no harm um, will come to me or my tent. And then in other versions it says um, no evil will come upon me. Long story short, after talking with uh, Pastor Chris, he told me to just leave it. 
Um, and so I'm just going to take that time for people to go home and read that for themselves. I just want to make sure that people understand that we're not preaching prosperity. Anyways, all that being said, Psalm 91, uh, song went great this last week. It's really good. Um, that whole intro time, that will just be Stephanie. Um, so it's, it's all on you there, <laughs> um, but y you've got it. No big deal. Um, and then we'll all come, you know, band wise, we'll, we'll really kick in really on that chorus, you know, but, um, that whole intro, I just want that to be keys there. If we, some of us pump in on the verse, that's fine. Um, but I want the intro there to be Stephanie. And then, uh, the thing I want to talk about is you have bridge one, bridge two, bridge three, bridge four progression. Um, there's a bunch of, in my opinion, a bunch of kind of unnecessary things in bridge three and four. We will do bridge one progression, and then when we do bridge two, we're going to pray, play the bridge two progression for both bridge three and bridge four. And obviously, when we get to the repeats of you're the God in whom I am trust, those four tags, you know, those tags are still going to be the G minor, the F to the C. Um, but bridge three and bridge four, like those full progressions there that have all the additional stuff in them. We won't do that. If you want to play, you know, some passing notes or some walk-ups, whatever, feel free to do that. Um, but know that the standard progression will be, you'll do bridge one and then bridge two, bridge two, bridge two, total of, uh, three times in that. And then we'll go into those tags of you the God in whom I trust. And then this last week, we just ended it kind of right there at that four minute, 14 second mark. And we'll follow Callie and see if she wants to do that repeat chorus and like the ending stuff. Um, but that'll be for her to decide. So hopefully that makes sense. The, really, the only thing we're changing on that is the fact that we're doing bridge two progression three total times. Okay. From there, uh, we'll jump into great I am. I won't put a crossfade or anything on this. Just that way we can follow Callie's lead. <coughs> follow Callie's lead. Um, but anyways, great I am will be as we typically do it here. Nothing changing, nothing new. Um, playing that straightforward. Um, We'll go down, we'll come back up, we'll go into Waymaker. I actually have this in C. Originally it was an F. Uh, Maddie's not able to be here this Sunday to sing. Um, so I changed it to C because I'm already going to be singing Great I Am. That's a big song. Um, and so I felt like it would be easier to put Waymaker in C because at least um, it's in C rather than anything with you know sharps and flats in it. Um, so yeah, so it's in C now. Really probably the person that affects the most, Stephanie, is you. So know that we can transpose on the Nord. So if you've been practicing a lot in F or if you've played it in E before, um, we can transpose it. It's no big deal. It's just one little button and you're done. Um, but if you want to play it in C2, that's fine. Let me know what you prefer. Um, but minus that, we're playing the song in C and what we will do for the offertory is two bridges, two courses, and we will be done. All right. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will see you guys Sunday morning.